if you smell a la 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 what Nintendo is cooking. So Nintendo have just announced this new cardboard based system. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me a lot of Lego and the principles behind Lego. And I think judging by the $1.6 billion increase their stock market just had, I think this is going to do pretty well. Now, it is slightly overpriced at about 60, is it 60 pounds in the UK and maybe $80 for a new pack. But just look at that robot, man. Just check that robot out. This is the type of thing that as a child, I would have just, oh my goodness, I'd have been all over this. Now that I've got young kids, I can have an excuse. I can be like, oh, um, look at that thing right there that, 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 that looks really great for you guys. What, what you want to buy it for your birthday? Oh, if we must. And then I can run around the house like, and my wife's going to be like, no, no, but that's fine because this is the type of stuff that Nintendo does, right? Think about the history of Nintendo. They never go, oh, okay, right, we've got this formula. It seems to work. I know what we should do. We should just keep doing the same thing over and over again, Mario. No, they don't do that. They tend to go and change things up and introduce things that sometimes are terrible. Sometimes they don't work at all. And other times they refine them and the Wii U becomes the Switch. And, and the idea of just having this creative process and something that you can do as a little hobby on the sideline, it's just so Nintendo and it's just such a nice idea. I really look forward to sitting down with my daughter and unpacking that robot thing and just putting it all together and spending a little time. And it might be a little bit of a gimmick in the way that some of these games work, but actually, you know, you pay hundreds of dollars for these controllers if you buy them in plastic and metal and you might use them for one or two games. But having this system where you can, and let's be honest, it's cardboard, right? There are going to be third party solutions available that are going to be a lot cheaper. I know you're still going to have to buy the game from Nintendo, but what I'm hoping is that there's an initial outlay that's maybe a little bit more expensive and then you kind of upgrade your cardboard as you go along and they offer that for a slightly reduced price. So I'm actually really excited to see how this goes and see how it works. But I saw like there's this, <laughs> I'm not doing an impression of a flight stick. That's going to look super dodgy. It's going to look dodgy. But there's this flight stick and I'm, I was just thinking of Star Fox, right? Like being able to use the motion in that Joy-Con as like the, 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 the flight stick for flying is going to be a lovely experience for when we do finally get that next Star Fox game. And we all know it's going to come eventually. Also, I saw the racing one, right? That little cardboard racing wheel with the, the foot pedal and there's a drum kit. So we're, we're going to see things like a, a music game, maybe like a rock band style game for the Switch. All of this just gives me hope. And the, re the reaction of the stock market has given me hope. It's shown that people have seen this and gone, okay, right, the whole lot is um, essentially just paper. But Nintendo are going to make paper cool. They're going to make us want to buy paper again. And albeit for a slightly inflated cost. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, please. Take my cash. And I think probably a lot of you guys feel the same way. Now, I could be accused of being called a fanboy, but as you know, I'm a PC gamer at heart and I'm still actually playing a lot of PUBG at the moment. But when I see things like this, it reminds me of why I initially got into games in the first place. That kind of exploration that you get with Nintendo products, it's just weird. I mean, we're just not used to it. What do you guys think of this? Do you think you're going to be buying this cardboard thing? Is it something that you're going to invest in? Or do you think it's a massive ripoff? Like, don't get me wrong, 60 quid for some cardboard and a digital game or, or a physical game if they're going to release it that way. That is a lot of money. So I can see why some people might be like, no, no, thank you, Nintendo. No, that is not OK. That is not OK. But for me, it just seems fun. That's all I can say about it. Pop down in the comments what you think. You're gonna buy it, you're gonna leave it, you're gonna laugh at your friends when they buy it and then have a go and then think, oh my goodness, this is amazing.
let me know. Cheers guys, just a short one, as that was a big release in the last few days. I still feel like there's going to be another Nintendo Direct. I was pretty pleased that I got that Dark Souls rumour right, because you know, when you, when, you, when you put rumours out there, if you get it wrong, you tend to look like a bit of an idiot. Now I know it wasn't me that leaked it, but when you're sharing it online, you've got to get these things pretty good, otherwise you look like an idiot. So yeah, don't look like an idiot. And I will definitely be playing some Dark Souls with you. Add me with the code below. Thanks to those 25, 30, 40 people that added me this week on Switch. Brilliant to have some more games with you guys on Rocket League. If you need any advice, tips, anything like that, pop it down in the comments. And I will see you guys all on the next one. Switch up.